Last time on Town Hall 11 Free to Play, we covered the Queen Walk strategy again to help those who just don't understand it. Today, let's get into the easiest dragon army you will ever use. What's going on, my friends? My name is Joe, and welcome back for episode 44 of the Town Hall 11 Free to Play series. Today, we are operating off of the Joe version 2 account because we are going to use dragons and lightning spells again. But this time around, it's a different variant of the army, thanks to an amazing commenter who shared this army. Said the army was really easy, and I had to put it into action. Now, last week, we did cover an amazing army with 11 lightning spells. It was a very lightning-heavy army. So he said this is a lot better and a lot easier. So this is the army that we're using today. 13 dragons that's a lot of dragons a lot of elixir guys and we also have six lightning spells and we have an electro dragon inside of a battle blimp so i have been putting it into action so far and overall it's worked out very well we've had a couple of high percentage two stars based on a couple of things i've been doing some testing before showing you this and so a lot of them are three stars and they are it's, it's very easy it's very easy to put into action on a lot of different types of bases so we have a very common base here and one of the things that i've been purposely trying to do here is trying to find bases with high level defenses with the single target inferno tower because a lot of players out there believe that if there's single targets on the base you cannot use dragons and that is not 100 accurate because i've been taking down a lot of bases with the single target inferno tower so we have six of the lightning spells and those are used to take out two of the air defenses but you also want to try to take out other buildings like air sweepers or archer towers things around those air defenses so this is just a basic example and then we're going to take a look at a war base because it does not work the same exact way every single attack so we used three lightning spells to take out the air sweeper the air defense and do damage to that one single target inferno tower we're going to do the same thing over on the far right side or this upper air defense take it out as well as doing damage to the second inferno tower and then on the outer perimeter i'm going to start by dropping two of the dragons to try to clear out do a little bit of funneling clear out some of these buildings on the far right side we're going to drop another dragon on the top point of this base to clear out that builder's hut and then we're going to back it up with our barbarian king archer queen and all of our dragons followed up by the battle blimp and the air set grand warden now what we're trying to do here is we're going to get this battle blimp to the core of the base and use the electro dragon in the balloon to destroy a bunch of defenses right here in the center of the base and use a raid spell in that area so we have to get rid of that eagle artillery very early in the raid that is quite ideal so you'll notice that we got the first freeze spell dropped and then we drop a rage spell pop the battle blimp manually above this area and we're going to destroy a bunch of defenses with the electro dragon as well as doing damage to buildings on the back side of the base since they're all clumped up together you'll notice that we were able to chain lightning that ability all the way through and clear out that final air defense to be honest with you this attack was completely unplanned this was just basically me kind of eyeballing it and going directly in now we're going to use our rage spell on i believe over here on the left side on the main group of dragons we also used the grand warden's ability to keep them alive through the barrage from the eagle artillery the archer queen is running with the other group of dragons on the opposite side of the base but all the major defenses have been taken out and we don't really even need that final freeze spell we just kind of used it down there on the bottom side of the base that's how easy this attack is i mean it really doesn't require a lot of planning to a, you know, to a degree, depending on the base. If you're facing off against these really common base designs, you really don't need to do a ton of planning. But when it comes to your war bases, you're really going to have to change your plan and your approach. We will do this one live out in global, but I want to show you how I changed the attack and manipulated it to do it against a war base. All right, so in that first replay, it looked pretty simple. It was kind of cut and dry. You drop your lightning spells, take out two air defenses, drop your dragons, your heroes, and the battle blitz and you should be good to go right well to a degree it doesn't always work the same exact way on every single base because there's a lot of different base designs like this one right here this is one for clan war some of you might face off against stuff like this some of you might not the exterior place town hall this is really built to stop the electro dragon spam now when we're trying to look at bases to take this army in on we're wanting to take down at least two air defenses we have an air defense here one here one here and one here right now the air sweepers is another thing that you have to concern yourselves about and the air sweepers are facing towards the left side of the screen and one facing up towards the top side of the screen so ideally we do not want to come in on this side with our dragons 
So we're going to have to be forced to go in on the other side where the town hall is located. Now, we have a town hall, so we cannot drop our battle blimp down here because we will not get the full effect out of the battle blimp. Remember, when it drops, it does damage as well to buildings around it, and it helps the electro dragon take out multiple buildings. So what we're going to do here is instead of approaching it in the same exact manner as the previous attack, we're going to drop three lightning spells on two different air defenses and get rid of the first two air defenses on this base. What this does is allows me the opportunity to do some funneling with some dragons on the outer perimeter. So we're going to drop two dragons over on the left side and two dragons on the right side. And we're going to clear these outside buildings. And what we can do is push our dragons directly up into this eagle artillery as well as this archer queen and get rid of her. But we're not going to drop our battle blimp yet. So we got the barb king down, the archer queen, all of the dragons and the grand warden. And so this is where we're going to manipulate this base. We're going to drop a rage spell, get through the town hall, and it's going to launch our dragons up into this eagle artillery. And so we have the Grand Warden's abilities we can use on our dragons to keep them alive. So the eagle's going to get off a barrage, and then we're going to use that Grand Warden's ability. On the far left side of the screen, we're going to sneak in that battle blimp. Now remember, there was an air sweeper here that's facing towards this side of the base. So we need to use a freeze spell to shut this down and allow the dragon dragons to destroy that air sweeper that way the battle blimp can come in and destroy this air defense as well as this inferno tower so that's exactly what we're going to do we got the freeze spell dropped shutting down that expo and that air sweeper and we're going to release the battle blimp above that air defense destroying it we have a poison spell dropped on the clan castle troops which are going to get taken out by the dragons that massive group of dragons and the electro dragon is going to do damage to buildings on the back row which is going to help move our dragons up in to the upper portion of this base now the archer queen well she's kind of caught up on a wall that's exactly what she does but the dragons are starting to fan out we're going to use our final freeze spell on that inferno tower shutting it down allowing the dragons to sneak in and take it out and then we are basically home free. So honestly, when it comes to this attack strategy itself, it really is an easy strategy to put into action. It just might not be used exactly the same exact way every single attack. You really have to look at the base and decide how you're going to approach it and take the smarter route. We're gonna go ahead and speed this one up. That way you can see the army for yourself. Take the smarter route by bringing in the dragons, eliminating that Eagle artillery as soon as possible, and then flex your battle blimp if you need to. It just depends on where the town hall's placed. All right, so let's go ahead and do one live. We just found this one random base and we're going to approach it probably the same exact way as that we did in the previous attack. We do have one multi-target and one single target Inferno Tower and the town hall is located down here. So let's go ahead and just destroy two air defenses, right? Not really trying to plan this out too much. Just going to take it on one at a time and see what happens. Let's see if we can get some damage there on two different defenses. Okay, we only got the cannon. I wanted the archer tower. But either way, let's go ahead and drop our dragon over here and our dragon here to do some falling of the base. We do have an air defense there, so we might have messed that up a little bit, but we'll see. Let's go ahead and drop a dragon here and here. And we're going to release all of our dragons as well as our barb king and archer queen. So let's get the king, queen, and let's go ahead and release our dragons up in this area right here as well as our grand warden and we're going to go ahead and release our battle blimp to go from the top side of the base directly to the center of this base now we have two rage spells so let's go ahead and freeze this for a moment give that a moment of time drop a rage spell drop the battle blimp and destroy these buildings in the center of the base down will go the single target inferno tower we have a group of dragons right there and let's drop a rage and use the grand warden's ability to protect those dragons we need to use that king's ability and uh, we're looking pretty good right now we got uh, one more freeze spell we got an air defense sitting right there so let's go ahead and freeze that air defense and that expo we will lose our Electro Dragon. That is unfortunate. Oh, we got Air Set Skeleton Trap. So let's go ahead and release a Poison Spell there. And we still have an Archer Queen. So, you know, even though that Air Defense is still standing and it is destroying our Dragons, we have the Queen's ability that we can use to get rid of the final defenses. You see what I'm saying? Like, this is just like, I didn't plan it out. I just kind of went with it and saw what happened. Uh, yes, these are lower level defenses. I'll try to find a higher one for the next attack. But let's go ahead and use that Queen's ability and get rid of that Air Defense and and that gold storage we have two dragons remaining and a barb king that's still leading the way down will go the final expo and down will go the army camp 
See what I'm saying? Like that is just, that's just Barney style easy right there. <laughs> let's go find a harder base because I'm sure you want to see something tougher than that. All right, so let's go ahead and try to take down this final base. Looks like everything is maxed out minus the walls here. So we're going to just try to go into this one and get rid of the Eagle artillery very early on with our dragons. And uh, let's see if we can do this. Let's go ahead and remove this air defense here. And let's go ahead and get rid of this air defense. Mm, let's go right here. Seems legit, right? Now, we do have a single target Inferno Tower there that we have to worry about. Let's go ahead and release some dragons over here. We do have two air defenses that we have to go into. This is kind of against what was put in that comment, but we're going to see how it works out. Let's go ahead and drop a Barb King here and an Archer Queen over here. And we're going to take on this first air defense with our dragons. So let's go ahead and release our dragons. Let's release our Grand Warden. Let's go ahead and release the Battle Blimp to move in there and try to get rid of that Eagle Artillery very early in the raid. Maybe. Come on. Let's go ahead and get a Rage Spell down. Down goes our let's go ahead and freeze this area queen's going to eliminate that final air defense the electro dragon is in the center of this base and we still have a grand warden's ability the eagle artillery is now gone let's go ahead and freeze that single target and uh let's see here let's go ahead and drop a rage spell back there and use that grand warden's ability e drag is no longer with us the archer queen's ability had to be used and it looks like our dragons are going to power up towards the top side of the base remember i did not plan this we just kind of dropped some troops and went with it to see how easy this army really is and when it comes to armies at the end of the day we don't want a lot of us don't want to play with over complex armies we want to just get the three star and have a good time and these armies like this right here these dragons are just really easy armies to negotiate especially i mean look at how many dragons we have guys this is a lot of dragons that are left over at the end of this raid we still got a poison spell because there was no clan castle troops so we're going to go ahead and swag that and the dragons are going to clean sweep the backside of this base all the defenses were maxed out on that one, guys. The only thing that we were missing there was a group of troops from the clan castle on defense, but that was about it. So overall, hopefully you were able to get a good idea on how to put this army into action. Like I said a moment ago, simplicity is the way to go in most cases. A lot of us don't want those overly complex armies like the queen walks and the miners and the hogs. We just want to drop troops and have a good time. So hopefully you got that from today's video. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe if you have not done so already and if you like watching us quite regularly turn on those notifications if you need any additional video support or you want to see this series from the very beginning click one of those links over there and we will see you in the next one guys take care